Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to go over um, how to properly clean and service the gas system on the M14. Um, and to do that, you're going to need at least two pieces of drill bits. You're going to end. This is a uh, this is a number 15 drill bit, um, and this is an aircraft or job length jobber length. Uh, drill bit. You can't find this at Ace Hardware or Home Depot. You got to go to either MSC or McMaster Car, or better yet, save yourself the hassle and go buy it from Sadlack Industries. You can probably get it from Midway or Brownells. I'm sure that they carry it as well. So this is a, a number number 15 aircraft length drill bit. And I also modified this. I actually grinded off the cutting tips so that as you clean the piston, you're not going to be gouging into the piston itself and actually drilling into the piston. All we're looking for is the drill bit edges to scrape off carbon and this is going to be for this is a letter P um, that we're going to use to uh, scrape the, the inside diameter of the gas piston. So the first thing you're going to do is we're going to get a gas cylinder wrench. This one's made by uh, Battle Arms Development. Development. This is a BAT, a BAD um, T4 tool and it's got a gas cylinder wrench on here. I'm going to slip it over here and you're going to either grab a, a box in wrench or a BADT1 and uh, actually I forgot also what you're going to want to do first is you're going to make a witness mark on your gas plug and your gas cylinder lock. Okay, One that you can see, one that's noticeable. And you're going to grab either a 3 8 boxed in wrench, a GI tool, multi-tool, or a BAD T1 and you're going to break the torque on your gas plug. Okay, I'm going to take the gas plug out and uh, you're going to see it's full of carbon. And from here, you're going to get your rifle and you're just going to tilt it forward. Maybe give a little shake or something. and uh, get your gas piston out. So we're going to start with our P drill bit and what we're going to do is we're going to clean out the, the larger cavity of the gas piston first. And you're just going to give it a few turns. Um, now if this one was cleaned not too long ago so it's really not very dirty in fact, I don't think I actually got anything out of there. Um, I do have another gas piston over here. And quite possibly it might be a little more dirty. This is an older one. Um, again, you just want to give it a few turns. Um, and again, in general, you should have a lot more carbon coming out. Uh, when this thing is really dirty, you're going to see a whole pile of, of black junk. Okay. Um, you know, once that's clean, you're going to get your uh, your number 15, um, and you're going to you're going to go deeper into the piston tail, and just give it a few turns. Okay, and we got some more carbon came out there. Um, again, if this was uh, if this has been about 500 rounds, there'd be a heck of a lot more carbon in here, and uh, there'd be a lot more work to do. But this one was relatively clean already. <clears throat> Um, from now, what you want to do is you're going to get a cleaning rod section, a steel cleaning rod section with a 22 caliber brush. Um, and this isn't really necessary, but this is something I like to do. I just put a little bit of solvent on there. And uh, what I do is I, um, I chuck it into a, a drill. Um, some gunsmiths, I know one gunsmith, he just puts it in his drill press and he'll uh, he'll just go to town on a piston. And give it a good scrubbing. Now, also, if you're not going to do the drill bit, and if you have a hard time holding on to this, um, usually these gas cylinder tools, uh, these gas cylinder lock tools, they have a slot in there for your gas piston 
and it gives you a little something extra to hold on to, you know, while you're cranking on your drill bit or, or whatever. Okay, so uh, now that that's scrubbed, you can also get another cleaning rod section for the bigger size. Um, looks like a 9mm would probably work there. Okay, so now I'm back. I've got a 9mm brush on another um, cleaning rod section. I'm just going to put a little bit of solvent on there. That's pretty much about it as far as cleaning the piston. Um, if there's a lot of junk on the outside, go ahead and grab a nylon brush. And just go ahead and uh, hit the spots that you need to. <clears throat> then I like to just dry it off with a rag. Hit it with some uh, IPA or some denatured alcohol. Get some of the solvents out of there. Now be careful with the whole Q-tip thing because sometimes um, you can get it can get stuck in there. And I've had cotton get in there before, and I've had to just kind of fish it out of there. Now as far as the piston goes, that's about as clean as you need it doesn't need to be super clean it's going to be dirty as soon as you shoot it um, the the main point is you get all the carbon out of out of the hole there and out of this top hole here um, now mine's already pretty clean uh, but if you need to pick some stuff out of there go ahead and do that and the next thing you're going to do is you're going to clean your gas plug now typically uh, Sadlac I know sells two different styles of drill bits but I found that the P it's a, a letter O, but I found that the P on mine works just fine, actually. And looks like I need something to hold this still. As you can see, this one here has a bit more crud going on in there. I don't know if there's different sizes um, of gas plugs. Maybe the Chinese ones uh, had a different hole size, which is maybe why they, they make a different size uh, drill bit. But I've found that the P works just fine um, for both the gas plug and the gas piston. Uh, I never had to use my letter O. In fact, I think the O actually might fit in there a little looser. So it doesn't fit in there as good. But again, that could be just from, they might have that other other uh, size just because of variations in manufacturer's gas plugs. But for my purposes, the P works good for both. And again, this is the gas system, so you really don't have to get it squeaky clean. Um, is it nice? Sure. But you really don't need to. It's not like an AR. <clears throat> that uh, if you don't get this clean, your, your rifle's gonna jam up right away. Um, the, the gas piston and the gas cylinder itself, um, they work in a manner that's basically self-cleaning. It fits in there so well that as it moves, um, as it moves back and forth, um, the, it, it's, it, pushes, it pushes the, uh, the carbon out through the holes. Um, so it's basically a self-cleaning gas piston, and it's best, uh, it works best if it's dry. And that's the state that you want to leave it in when you're all done. And the last thing you want to do is go ahead and clean out your gas cylinder. I believe it's uh, about, about a 50 caliber bore brush, I think, works good. Uh, in this case, I've just got a, a Glock um, 
I've got a uh, just a Glock bore brush, and it'll work just fine because this this piston's already or this cylinder's already uh, getting cleaned very well just by the piston moving back and forth. So it's not going to be gummed up with a lot of stuff unless it's been sitting and rusting. Um, and again, you can just you know put a little bit of solvent on there, jam it in, give it a few good turns. Rub it down a little bit. You're going to grab your trusty bore mop that we use to, to clean your chamber and just give it a few passes in there as well so that it's nice and dry. And go ahead and spray this off with some IPA, get it, you know, get it cleaned off or throw it in the washer <clears throat> and you should be good to go. So now that it's time to put your gas piston in, um, this flat line on the top there, it goes up and you're going to put that in. Um, and it's also a good idea to lock the bolt back while you do this as well. So we're just going to shove that in there, give a little helpful push with something. Uh, if it goes all the way in, good. If it only goes in a little bit, then it's not lined up. Grab some anti-seize lubricant, put it on your gas plug threads. Go ahead and thread that in there. Grab a gas cylinder wrench. And now get your uh, 3 8 boxed in wrench or your B80 whatever you choose and tighten up the gas plug until your reference marks align. Now, <clears throat> if you have a torque wrench, go ahead and torque that up to 150 inch-pounds, um, and that should, be, that should be good. It should not shoot loose. So now, once you have it all clean, you can do the tilt test and you can hear it. You can hear the gas piston uh, sliding back and forth. And you're good to go.